hurt in a car accident. Why should I call the Law Brothers? Because when you're hurt, you need money. We got a client who injured their neck in a car accident, $350,000. We're the Law Brothers. Call 310-9MILLION or visit lawbrothers.com. How do customers describe shopping at Burlington? Wow. 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 Burlington has incredible deals on amazing brands and finds. Wow. You'll love the deals. You'll love Burlington. Wow. Growing up wasn't so easy. You kind of have like the neighborhoods around here and it's a bit challenging. My parents always did the best they could, but sometimes life was tough. Which is why when I had my baby girl, I knew I had to make a change. And to me, that was going to American Career College. Three o'clock, President Joe Biden just got a tour of the storm damage. In, right now at three o'clock, President Joe Biden just got a tour of the storm damage in Capitola, California with Governor Gavin Newsom. Let's listen in to what he has to say right now. Here's the president. It's a long term rebuilding to do both. We have to, in terms of the infrastructure, there's got to be significant changes been made and the federal government's going to be here to help get that done. For example, the Department of Agriculture is helping farmers with disaster loans and grants if they lost livestock or their crops were washed away. So the Small Business Administration, and some of you with me when I just went through the small business along the piers here, it's devastating what happened. But they're going to get help, help local businesses with low interest loans so they can recover. And now if you, have, if you don't have insurance or if you're underinsured, FEMA is going to get you started on home repairs and replacing lost or damaged property like cars or refrigerators, things inside the home that will be able to be replaced quickly. To apply for assistance from FEMA, you can go online to disasterassistance.gov. Disasterassistance.gov. You can also sign up in person for disaster recovery centers in the coming days. There are going to be at least seven centers opened across this state and FEMA is going to deploy disaster survivor assistance teams to communities that need them the most. We can go to the FEMA website to find that location. And look, as I've said on other disasters, the key is not just building back, it's building back stronger. Just because since I became president, we've spent $9 billion in disaster assistance to California for the extreme weather events they've had to go through. $9 billion, and these weeks have shown the compounding effect of the disasters. For example, places that were ravaged by past wildfires are now at a higher risk of landslides. Extreme weather caused by climate change means stronger and more frequent storms, more intense droughts, longer wildfire seasons, all of which threaten communities across California. <clears throat> so we have to invest in stronger infrastructure to lessen the impacts of these disasters because they become cumulative in a sense. We've already allocated funding from the infrastructure law that I signed a year ago and more than $16 billion for more than 480 projects across this state. We're making the, Palo the California power grid more resilient, building stronger levees, clearing hazardous fuels and, and reforesting lands protecting, uh, to protect against wildfires. And together, we can better prepare for future disasters, reduce the damage they cause, and the people's lives and livelihoods that are affected. So let me close with this. To the people in California, I say it again. The country is here for you and with you. We are not leaving till things are built back and built back better than they were before. You can recover from storms. We'll be with you every step of the way. And I mean that sincerely, every step. And God bless you all. And may God protect our first responders, who we owe more than I could take time to talk about today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you've been listening in. President Biden there wrapping up remarks you after know, touring you know parts of our state hit hard by our recent winter storms. The president promising federal help will not leave until the job of repairing all of that damage. The mudslides, the rock slides, the sinkholes, everything that he saw today on his tour is repaired. NBC 4's Conan Nolan has been watching too. He's standing by in our newsroom with more. Conan? Uh, that's right, uh, Kathy. So President Biden talking about the emergency declaration.